friends hope you're doing great today so today i will be covering one of the most important aspect of dynamic crm that is the implementation of security rules and permission in the application and for the same what i have done is first i have created a couple of users test users like sales person sales manager and regional manager now these users would be given the licenses of dynamic crm if you can recall in previous discussions we have covered how to create a user and how to associate them with different licenses out in there so i'm just opening up my regional manager on opening up my regional manager if you can see in licenses and apps i have granted him dynamic 365 sales premium license on the same lines what i have done is i have created a sales manager and sales person now in dynamic crm what exactly happens is we do have a concept of business units so business units are like a logical grouping or logical section wherein multiple people would be logging into the application based upon your geographical region or based upon your organizational business aspects so what exactly happens is i have created three different business units the first one which you can see on my screen is org c08 e8 f3c is my default business unit usually when we are implementing for an organization we rename it to the organization name or something like that then we have a regional business unit which i have created as a child to it and below it i have created the city business unit which would be something like this so now if i switch back to my excel which so let's switch to my excel and in here if i say business unit so it, it the structure would be something like that like you have your default business unit on the top followed by your regional business unit and then uh, your city business unit this is my structure now if you can recall from my office 365 i have created this set of users which includes my regional manager sales person and sales manager so what i have done is i have associated my regional manager to my regional business unit my sales person and sales manager to my city business unit now in dynamic crm the moment the user gets uh, like visible to you in the application let's let's go to my application let's uh, let's see the security in here we would be seeing the users so the moment a user gets synced from office 365 to dynamic crm usually what happens is a default business unit is associated to it that is your default business unit that is your root business unit would be associated to it now once the user has been associated the first thing we do is we change the business unit of that user in my application i have configured three business unit default regional and city and for this sales person i have associated him to the city business unit post that we have to associate them to different roles which includes your sales manager sales person based upon your requirement now i have associated him to the sales person role out in there on that same lines i have done the same for my sales manager where in the default business unit which has been associated as city with security role as sales manager if you go to my regional area so we we have a regional manager which i have associated to the regional business unit which sits above city and below default business unit so the structure would be something like that now let's first discuss from the organizational point of view or from the business case scenario the business case scenario could be let's say you are implementing dynamic crm for a pharmaceutical company and the pharmaceutical company is operating into different regions of a country or let's say different regions of india so my default business unit is india where my ceo cio and everyone wants to be on the top of the organization below that we can have states like say rajasthan and in rajasthan we can have different cities like jaipur jodhpur something like this so we would be having different sales person who would be willing or who would be working at this level each city would be having having its sales manager and on top of the sales manager there would be a state manager which we call we can call as a regional manager and on top of it you would be having a different set of other people who would be working in the organization now the expectation usually is a sales person who is working uh, in that particular city of jaipur should be able to see only the records which are associated to this business unit 
and if a regional manager who is working in Rajasthan who is responsible entirely for Rajasthan then he would be able to see all the records either they are in Jaipur or Jodhpur that is they should be able to see the records of their parent as well as their child being a parent they should be able to see the records from their child and records now let's log in into the application so what I have done is I am logged in into this application dynamic CRM using different set of roles and responsibilities. One of them is the salesperson role. So I am logging in as a salesperson and when you can see in here since my salesperson has been allocated only a single role that is salesperson enterprise application that's the reason they are able to see only the sales hub. Now the sales hub is loading for this executive. Now let's take up a scenario they go to the accounts record accounts table out in there and they select all accounts so usually what is happening is at this moment of time you can see sales accounts are only visible to this user a single account is visible to this user and let's go and check what type of account is it it's salesperson that the owner of the record is the salesperson itself the person who has logged in into the application is the owner of this record and now let's check what are all the roles and permissions which are associated to this particular role. So in here, if we go to salesperson role and we see account table. So account table has all these responsibilities. So let's first check what does this mean. This yellow uh, exactly means record which has been created by that particular user or the record of which that trick user who is logged in is the owner would be able to see that record if i click it as yes so what will happen is only the records for which mr salesperson as a user is part of the application or owns the record will be able to see the record if i say it like this it means any of the user who belongs to the same business unit let's say for entire records in jaipur they would be able to see this record so let's let's do it this way let's do it first uh, like organization which means you would be able to see all the records irrespective of your business unit and i just save the record and let's refresh it uh, this is not the right window let's move to the right window the right window was in here so if i go in here i have updated the role and now if i check all accounts you would be able to see the records even if that doesn't belong to the business unit of this salesperson now let's reduce the permissions out in there let's reduce the permission to only this much that is parent child so since salesperson belongs to the lowest level so for him parent child doesn't matter a lot only thing would be that he would be able to see only the records which are associated to their business unit so if i now if i will uh, like uh, refresh my record set you would be see the record count would decrease because only this record has been created which belongs to this business unit parent child means you being the parent and child being your associated child business units to which a record can belong in case of a parent child uh, like uh, then we have the other level which is which is our business unit which means only the records which are associated to your organization to your business unit to which you belong and last not the least is the records only which you can read it that is over which you are the owner of the record so these are the four levels like organization parent child business unit and user now in a permission we have all the permissions associated to it like create means you are allowed to create a record yes you would be allowed to create a record on your behalf you will not be allowed to create by impersonating other user you would be able to read the records i just explained in the read concept write means updating a record now at times people are confused like what if summit we are having only a read permission and write as an organizational level what will happen definitely you would be able only to update a record which you are able to read it and since your read permission is only specific to you as the owner you will not be able to update the records which doesn't belong to you delete remains the same that is removing a record 
append and append to means like associating like permission to associate this record to other record or associating another record to here like the way we do it in the lookup that is we have two records and we refer one record into another assign means sending this record or assigning this record to someone else and sharing means having the required permission to share the records now i would be depicting the same this things i would be explaining you the concept of parent child from the perspective of a regional manager and my regional manager belongs on the second level that is he has a child business unit as city and parent as a default business unit so now let's see from the perspective of a sales person in here in here you can see the sales manager is there and i have already logged in into the application as a sales manager too oh sorry the regional manager as exactly as a regional manager now at this moment of time the regional manager is able to see two set of records that is the record which belongs to his business unit and the record which belongs to the city business unit which has been created by a sales person at that level now i am removing or reducing the permission so let's say first we mark it as only this that is manager would be able a person with a manager role would be able to see only his record i just save this record and let's try refreshing the screen so now you will see only one record out in here region is because you have marked it you would be able only allowed to see the records of which you are an owner now i am going to the second level directly because definitely i have not created multiple records so now i am saying parent child so what exactly happens is the moment i say parent child so you would be able to see the records which belong to your business unit as well as the records from the business unit which are child to it which means a regional manager would be able to see the records from the child business unit that is city in our scenario of pharma what exactly happens is a regional manager which belongs to rajasthan would be able to see the records of the sales person sales manager any of the records which belongs to these two business unit also there could be multiple business units based upon your architectural diagram or the business requirement now let's go for the third scenario wherein the regional manager wants to see the records of of their own child business unit as well as the parent business unit so i gave them the required permission to read at organizational level if you can see the entire green button and now if we will refresh the screen what exactly happens is they would be able to see a lot of records and these record belong to different set of people belonging to different different business unit in the organization so from the perspective of parent child like there is always a confusion between what is exactly parent child business unit and what is organizational so parent child means you would be able to read the records from your child business unit organization means you would be able to see the records of entire organization irrespective of your position in a business unit and the third and the most important is business unit means the level at which you belong you would be able to see only those records so this was all about the security role and permissions and dynamic crm so i would like to recap the things what we have done is we have first created a set of users then we have added those users with necessary licenses the moment we granted them the licenses the users got reflected into your dynamic crm application once the application would have us holding all those users we started giving them the required roles and permission and then we just played around with the roles and permissions out in there in dynamics we do have other security uh, models apart from permission that is uh, like managerial security levels and the positional in upcoming videos i would be trying to cover the same till then stay tuned and if you like my video kindly please do subscribe the channel thank you have a great day